Hello, and welcome back to this course on Godot C Sharp. So while this course does have as a prerequisite a little bit of knowledge of using the Godot engine, maybe with GDScript, it does not have as a prerequisite using Godot with C Sharp. And if you've never used Godot with C Sharp before, there might be a little bit of setup that you'll have to do before you're ready to go. And so in this video, we're going to go through all the things that you will need to have C Sharp working in Godot. We won't go through the specific installation process of some of the external stuff you'll need like .NET or um, VS Code, but I'll just kind of run you through the list of things that you're going to need for uh, getting C Sharp to work in Godot. So an important thing to note about the Godot engine is that depending on what language you want to use when you're programming your game, you're going to need to download a totally separate version of the engine. You can see here, I'm going to be using Godot 4.2, but this applies to any Godot release, um, past or future. And you'll notice over here under supported platforms, I'm going to be working on Windows, of course. Uh, and you'll see that there are two separate versions here. There's a standard version, and there's also a .NET version. So C Sharp is part of Microsoft's .NET uh, platform. And so in order to use C Sharp with Godot, you're actually going to need to download this .NET version. So if you've used Godot in the past and only used it with GDScript, chances are you've downloaded this standard version. And so if that's the case, you're going to need to download the .NET version of whatever version of Godot you're going to be working with. For me, I'm going to be working with Godot 4.2 stable release. But again, this should apply to any major version of Godot, uh, either in the past or um, coming in the future. Okay, and so once you've downloaded and installed the .NET version of Godot, what you're going to need as well is what's called the .NET SDK. So unlike GDScript, which is an integral part of the Godot engine and does not require any external tooling, working with C Sharp in Godot is going to require some external tooling in the form of the .NET SDK. So again, this is just some uh, like compilers and uh, necessary libraries for running C Sharp on your machine. And so if you want Godot to run C Sharp, you're going to need to get this as well. So an important note, as of Godot 4.2, uh, support for the latest version of .NET, which is .NET 8.0, is not really there yet with Godot. And so uh, currently I am running .NET 7.0. This is the one of the latest versions of .NET that is going to work with the current versions of Godot as of 4.2. So what you're going to need to do is uh, if you're on Windows, or depending on what platform you're on, to download the what's called the .NET SDK, the Software Development Kit, and just go through the installation instructions if you don't already have a version of .NET on your system. So you may be wondering, uh, how would I know if I have a version of .NET on my system? And so if you're on Windows, you can actually check this via PowerShell. So if I open up PowerShell here, open up PowerShell, and if I type in .NET, dash dash version, it will give me uh, whatever version of .NET I have installed. You can see I have 7.0.4. Um, if you did not have a version of .NET installed, this command uh, would not work. And so that's a pretty likely indicator that you'll need to install the SDK. Okay, great. So assuming you have all of the prerequisites here set up, you have uh, a version of .NET that's compatible with Godot installed on your system, and you have installed uh, the Godot Mono version. Uh, we're ready to open up Godot and do a little bit of setup with how we're going to work with C Sharp in the engine. There's a couple of different options that you can choose from. I myself, in the course of this uh, series, I'm going to be using VS Code um, external editor. You can also use the Godot internal editor for C Sharp, but personally, I find that uh, VS Code's language support for C-sharp and all of its other nice, helpful features makes it worth it for me to work outside of the Godot editor. And Godot has uh, a lot of ways, helpful ways to interface uh, very smoothly and easily with an external editor. So I will show you how to get those set up with VS Code right now. 
Okay, so um, much like with uh, .NET and with the Godot uh, executable itself, I won't be going into specific installation instructions for VS Code if you'd like to use VS Code. Um, so assuming you already have VS Code installed on your system, what you can do to start to link it up with the Godot editor here, you're going to go up here to the uh, nav bar, select editor, go down to editor settings on the top, and scroll all the way down on this sidebar until you reach this bottom section .NET. And so under .NET, there is a section called editor, and there's a field here called external editor. And this is where you're going to select whatever external editor you want for using C-sharp. So you don't have to use Visual Studio Code if you have any of these other IDEs you'd rather use, such as um, Visual Studio, MonoDevelop, uh, and others. Uh, you can feel free to use those. But again, in this course, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. So once I have that selected, um, and unless your installation has something um, non-standard about it, it should be able to find your executable just fine without needing to provide a path. So once we have that set up, we can go ahead and create a little dummy node here in Godot, create a script, and see if we can open up VS Code and use C Sharp with it. So I'm just going to create a blank node here. I'm going to create just a, a node. This is just for testing this. And I'm going to attach a script. I'm going to select C Sharp. Okay. Uh, so it says, uh, I mean, the script name as the same as a built-in type is usually not desired. That is true. So uh, even though this is a test for good measure, we'll call this node game. And we will attach a script. And there we go. Create a script. And in another window here, it's opening up Visual Studio for me. And so uh, if you have correctly configured everything, this should automatically bring up a Visual Studio window. So uh, here we are with our basic script setup. And so uh, over the course of this series, we're going to be writing all of our C-sharp in Visual Studio. But again, as I mentioned, there is another way you could go about this. So if you don't want to use an external editor, um, Godot does provide a way to uh, do that. So if we head over here on the top to script, and we open up, oh, never mind. Okay, so we're going to save this node as a scene here. And if you want to edit this script without an external editor, what you do is go back to that editor settings panel. Okay, click on disabled in external editor. And now you should be able to open up that C-sharp script inside of Godot. So this is an option as well. But for me, I like editing it in VS Code, so I'm going to swap that back. And there we go. Okay, so now finally, we can uh, try to write a little bit of C Sharp to make sure that everything is working. So I'm going to open back up my editor here. And I'm just uh, the ready function, I'm just going to call the GD print function. And once the language server connects, is, connects here, you should be able to see documentation and everything inside of VS Code for these Godot functions. I'm just going to say, hello, Godot C sharp. Okay, we'll save that. Load this and uh, we will launch our project. Okay, so we're selecting this as the main scene. Oh, it looks like some of our script um, not get attached to this correctly. So try that again. Okay, and here we go. We can see down here in the console, we're printing hello, Godot C sharp. So C sharp is up and ready to go. And the next video will be off and running in creating our version of 2048. So stay tuned for that.